Hello guys. So today I'm changing the subject a little bit. Uh, I want to play around a little bit with matrices, which is basically uh, a race with the uh, added complexity. So I'm going to start up with this exercise. Um, so this is a, this is a, this exercise is called transpose matrices matrix and here it is what it says so given a matrix a return the transpose of a what's a transpose of a matrix transpose of a matrix is a matrix flipped over its main diagonal uh, switching the row and column indices of the matrix so basically what it's saying is that Whatever is on the row is going to become a column. And whatever is on, it's on the column is going to become a row. So here I did a quick, um, I had already added some comments here. I did a, a quick uh, 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 how to get, briefing on top of this. So, so, so whatever you had on on side on on location one one, let's just say one 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 goes to one one. So this stays here. So whatever. So the four, for example, this was one two goes to one. So this goes here. So row two column one three one three. So one three goes to three one, and so on and so forth. When the when the array on the matrix is square, this is quite straightforward. When the it, when it's not square, when it's not an even matrix, um, sometimes people can get a bit confused because what happens here, for example, this one, two, three, this guy has two columns and two rows and three columns. This would become uh this would become one four two five and three six and as you can see here and i already kind of gave names to this they, these guys as you can see i and j so i so the way to solve this um, most trade for way to solve this is by uh, creating a for loop on top of for loop so inside of for loop. so you, you have for loop going over going over the columns and another one going over the rows which would be each item of the array and then we, we would bas basically flip the location to do that uh what i would do what i want to do here is i want to first get the size of the rows so yeah the rows and columns because of course if it's like i said if it's a, a, a square matrix it's easy but sometimes it may not be so and then I want to basically create another matrix with the new dimensions. Um, flipping the columns. Okay. You know, uh, like I said, loop over the rows and loop over columns. This guy could be inside this one. Okay, and then I would sign the values and the 
new matrix by the indexes and in so, okay, so this should work by flipping the new indexes. You guys will see what I mean. So, so basically, here let's get so rows, columns equals rows. So a maybe just called a. What a name, guys, from Lead Code. Uh, and then link a zero. So then we're getting the length of the first of the first guy. So yeah. Uh, okay. So okay. So then let's let's create a new matrix. New matrix. And for this, I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, <clears throat> Python magic here. So I wanna I wanna have a none. So that's why I did this, right? Columns or in range range. Let's see what this is. New. Wrong answer, of course. Yeah, let's just get an example let's let's get a different example here okay, so this is wrong rows okay this is correct this is what we want okay <clears throat> it's good to check right so all right so in here so now so where are we? So, okay, so we did this. Now we're gonna loop over the rows. So, in range rows, okay, range, right? And assign the values on a new matrix by flipping the indexes. So what does this mean? So it's like new matrix. So we have I, J equals A, J. And turn new matrix. So if you run this now, Okay. No, no, this is correct. This is not this. Let's complain about something else. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I had this backwards. Yeah, because we need to, we need to, First, use these guys because we're signing, signing the call. We're, we're, 
for flipping these guys, for signing these guys for Seattle. So this is correct. Uh, so this looks good, right? So, and this has a time complexity O of N square because uh, O of N square. Oh, actually, no, this is a time complexity of O of C columns times rows. And for the space complexity, it's pretty much the same. O of C times rows. because we're creating a new matrix that, that looks exactly like the same one that we have. And this is, this is gonna be the number, number of rows and number of columns. And this, we're iterating over the rows over three, and this we're iterating over, um, for each one of these, we're iterating over the columns. So we're not iterating over, e over itself. So it's not a, It's not a quadratic, quadratic function. So if we send this, so this is good, uh, over 80%, uh, less than 5% of Python online submissions. So this looks okay, yeah. Um, yeah. See you later.